Here we have the uh, thickened uh, spent stillage. Uh, we're starting to stir one up, and this one is uh, a two to one spirit, 20 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, 30 microns, underflow, five gallons, uh, dated 11 uh, 18. And here we have uh, the same thing, uh, but dated 11 19. As we open the pail, you can see uh, what it looks like. It's uh, got a layer of water that we, we could pour this off, but we're not going to. We're going to stir it in, and we're going to run a capacity test in this little uh, four-inch press. And we're finding some sort of waste material here. Um, hard to say what it is, but uh, we're discarding that. This is the press we're going to test with, a CP4. Uh, here's a KP6. We've got a boiler right there. Here we have a shredder. We're in the shipping department, so there's a press they're getting ready to pack up. And uh, there's a press going to John. Screw department is down in there. Here they're welding out of the screw. But we're crowded in our test area. Okay. I think we can uh, start scooping. We've got the press going at 15 RPM. Uh, we've got one bar air pressure, 15 PSI, and uh, slot width on the screen, we measured 16 thousandths of an inch. Okay, free water coming out right away. That's a good sign, although the uh, 16 thousandths slot width is a bit big. We're dumping the liquid into trash containers. This will be trash, and this, when I see material get down here to the cake discharge, I'm going to uh, close this cone. There I see some material coming out. So I reach over here, and I'm going to see I'm at one bar, and, and that's pushing it shut. So uh, water comes out, because that's just what material that's been conveyed along. Wow, are we getting the liquid out of this? Uh, we're starting to form a plug. Look at that, forming a plug. Water's not running out anymore, and uh, with one bar pressure, we're coming out pretty well. Uh, okay, I'm going to start a time test. Press cake coming out. This press cake, if I grab it in my hand and squeeze it, I cannot get a drop out. I don't get any film between my fingers. Um, if I'm not going to get any drier than that in a screw press. I could increase that air pressure. I could slow down the RPM, uh, but I'm going to get the same result. Uh, this stuff is beautiful. You, you hardly get a good application like this. And I had doubts. Uh, press liquor, reasonably clear. Wow. I'm feeding well because the cake is still coming out all the way around the cone uniformly. That's good. It's not channeling. Press liquor coming out nicely. And then the inlet hopper is still going down. And there's a screw turning in the inlet hopper. Go ahead, you can feed the second pail. good. Okay, we ran six and a half minutes. Uh, this is the trash stuff being collected. Uh, it fed all by itself without us uh, poking it or touching anything. Uh, yeah, it feeds beautifully. That's okay, I'll, I'll grab them. Uh, open the cone for them. We'll show what, what happens when you open the cone. Okay. <laughs> emptying out the press at this point. We're now in the uh, assembly department. Um, this is where we put presses together. Uh, one distant from Mexico. And uh, yeah, we've got there's a little one. 
Beijo.